a lot of time people have questions about courthouses in Massachusetts. Um, one of the big courthouses uh, near Taunton is the Brockton uh, Courthouse, and that's on uh, 215 North Main Street in Brockton. And I have a blog about the Brockton Courthouse that you can go to as well. But just so that you know, when you go to the Brockton Courthouse, there is some court parking, but it fills up pretty quickly. There's a garage right across from the courthouse that you can leave your car at, and there's a couple of public, uh, private parking lots um, near the courthouse as well. Usually if you get there early, there's a reasonable chance that you'll either be able to park in the courthouse parking lot or the satellite parking lot. There's also a lot of metered parking, but you wanna be careful because you're not sure how long you're likely to get stuck in court. Um, Brock, the Brockton Courthouse is, um, is pretty consistent about not allowing litigants to bring in telephones, so it's important to make sure that you leave your cell phone um, in your car or someplace else. Um, you'll have to go through a metal detector, and a lot of times there's a fairly lengthy line at the Brockton Courthouse, but again, it depends on the specific time that you get there. You'll have to go through security with court officers there. Um, on the first floor, sometimes there's, there's an information desk, and sometimes there are people manning that desk that can give you information. Um, however, on the first floor, there is a bulletin board that will show you for district court which courtroom that you're going to be in. Um, so if it has your name, it will tell you that you're in courtroom uh, 10 or whatever courtroom that you're in. And there is an elevator right by this, by this security metal detector as well, or stairs that you can take. Um, if you continue along on the first floor, you'll see district court probation and the clerk's office for district court. Um, so that if you can't find your name or you have a question either for the probation department or f for um, district court or for the clerk's office, you can find it there. Um, there is um, a co little coffee stand that's, that's not always open, but if it is, you can have coffee and things of that nature. You can't bring it into the courtroom, so you have to have it on the first floor. Um, on the second floor, and this is one that sometimes people are not sure about, for probate in family court, um, that's where the list will be on the second floor. So if you walk up the stairs or right by the stairwell on the second floor, you'll see your name and what courtroom that you're in, depending on the judge, and it will tell you which courtroom to go to. Um, on the second floor, you'll be able to see um, there'll be the juvenile court clerk's office and some of the other the court officers, court offices, and probate in family court office as well. Um, depending on what courtroom that you go to, um, and it can can change. So it's important to find that out on the third or fourth third or fourth floor. You can always check with the respective clerk's office. Sometimes, if you're in probate in family court, they're going to send you down to mediation with uh, a mediator in the probation department. Um, other times, um, in juvenile court, it's a closed session. And if you don't have an attorney, you can check with the clerk's office or the juvenile court probation office to make sure you're in the right courtroom, um, but not to generally go into the courtroom itself until a court officer or an attorney tells you to because in juvenile court, it is a closed session. Um, sometimes the lists can be very long in Brockton, um, so it's important to give yourself enough time to realize that you may be there fairly lengthy period of time. If you're looking for a court-appointed attorney, um, in district court, you would go to the probation department, um, and same thing uh, for juvenile court. In probate and family court, there are court-appointed attorneys for certain aspects of it, um, sometimes for guardianship cases, certain contempts, and, and sometimes certain DCF cases. You'd have to be determined to be indigent. Generally, um, you'd be asking the court before just going to the district, I'm sorry, to the probate and family court probation department. Um, there are a variety of the Westgate Mall is not very far, but it, you have to drive, and there are a variety of, of restaurants nearby as well that my blog has a little bit about.